Psalms 148 Praise ye the Lord praise ye the Lord from heaven praise him in all heights praise him all his angels praise ye him all his host praise ye him sun and moon praise him and all ye stars of light praise him ye heavens of heavens and ye waters that be above the heavens let them praise the name of the lord for he commands and they were created he hath also established them for ever and ever he hath made a decree which shall not pass praise the lord from the earth ye dragons of all deeps fire and hail snow and vapors stormy wind fulfilling his words mountains and all hills fruitful trees and all cedars beast and all cattle creeping things and flying fowls kings of earth and all people prince and all judges of the earth both young men and maidens old men and children let them praise the name of the lord and his name alone is excellent his glory is above the earth and heavens he also excelled the horns of his people the praise of all his saints even of the children of israel of people near unto him praise ye the lord psalms 149 praise ye the lord sing unto the lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints let israel rejoice in his name that made him let the children of zion be joyful in their king let them praise his name in the dance let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp for the lord take pleasure in his people he will beautify the meek with salvation let the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praises of the lord be in their mouths and a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chain and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise ye the lord psalms 150 praise ye the lord praise god in his sanctuary praise him in a ferment of his power praise him for all his mighty acts praise him according to his excellent greatness praise him with sound of trumpets praise him with the psaltery and harp praise him with the timbrel and dance praise him with stringed instruments and organs praise him upon the loud cymbals praise him upon the high sounding cymbals let everything that hath breath praise the lord praise ye the lord proverbs 1 the proverbs of solomon son of david king of israel for gaining wisdom and instruction for understanding words of insight for receiving instruction in prudent behavior doing what is right and just and fair for giving prudence to those who are simple knowledge and discretion to the young let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance for understanding proverbs and parables the sayings and riddles of the wise the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction listen my son to your father's instruction and do not forsake your mother's teachings they are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck my son if sinful men entice you do not give in to them If they say come along with us let's lie in wait for innocent blood let's ambush 
some harmless souls. Let's swallow them alive like the grave and whole, like those who go down to the pit. We will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our house with plunder. Cast lots with us. We will all share the loot. My son, do not go along with them. Do not set foot on their path. For their feet rush into evil. They are swift to shed blood. How useless to spread a net where every bird can see it. These men lie in wait for their own blood. They ambush only themselves. Such are the paths of all who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away the life of those who get it. Wisdom Rebuke Out in the open, wisdom calls aloud. She raises her voice in the public square. On top of the wall, she cries out. At the city gate, she makes her speech. How long will you, who are simple love, your simple ways? How long will mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge? Repent at my rebuke. Then I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teachings. But since you refuse to listen when I call and no one pays attention when I stretch out my hands, since you discreet all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, I in turn will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when calamity overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster sweeps over you like a whirlwind, when disaster and tr- when distress and trouble overwhelm you, then they will call to me, but I will not answer. They will look for me, but will not find me. Since they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord, since they would not accept my advice and spurn my rebuke, They will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes. For the waywardness of the symbol will kill them and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. Wisdom bestows well-being. My son, do not forget my teachings, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of the Lord and humankind. Trust in the law with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruit of all your crops. Then your barn will be filled to overflowing and your vat will brim over with new wine my son do not despise the lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the lord disciplines those he loves as a father the son he delights in blessed are those who find wisdom those who gain understanding for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, and her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. By wisdom the Lord laid the earth's foundation. By understanding he sets the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the deeps were divided. 
and the clouds let drop the dew. My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the law will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. When it is in your power to act, do not say to your neighbor, Come back tomorrow and I will give it to you. When you already have it with you, do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have done you no harm. Do not envy the violent or choose any of their ways, for the Lord detests the perverse, but take the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks the proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. The wise inherit honor, but fool gets only shame. Proverbs 3 My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long, long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let no mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and men. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bone. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, Despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wavering of his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, even as a father to the son in whom he delights. Happy in the men that find wisdom, and the man that gets understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou cast desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are always of blessedness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life, and them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that remains her. The Lord by wisdom held found earth, by understanding his, he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thy eyes. Keep sound knowledge and discretion, so shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in the way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou lies down, thou shalt not be afraid, yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. 
be not afraid of sudden fears neither of the desolation of wicked which it come for the lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken with whole not good from them to whom it is due with when it is in the power of thy hand to hold me say not unto thy neighbors go and come again and to marrow i will give them so has it may thy devise not evil against thy neighbors see he dwelt securely by thy strive not with a man without cause if he have done thee no harm envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways for the forward is abomination to the lord but the secret is with the righteous the curse of the lord is in the house of the wicked but the blessed the habitation of the just surely he scorned the scorners but he gives grace unto the lowly the wise shall inherit glory but shame shall be the promotion of fools